What is up, YouTube? This is Zach, Dream Media Home Theater. If you guys are not one of my subscribers already, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up on this video. Today, I am bringing the number one calibrator, Chris Deering, with Deep Dive AV on a Zoom meeting today, where we're gonna be discussing some of the common pitfalls or mistakes that people make with home theater. And also giving you a little bit more information on calibration. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let's get into it right after the intro. Do you think uh, you have some information to give on that, Chris? Um, I mean, I could talk calibration all day. Uh, <laughs> common, you have you a know, couple things that you see. I think the common pitfall is that, you know, everybody just thinks that every display out there today, when they buy it, it's already calibrated. And, you know, they, I mean, if you're talking about a flat panel, they're always set to picture modes that are set up really for a bright showroom at a, at a uh, Best Buy or whatever, when you're talking about, about you know, projectors, you know, it's the it's it's not the same kind of thing, but I've never got a projector out of the box where it was just like, yep, just pick this picture mode and you're good to go because everybody's got different screen sizes and it's not compensated for that, different screen types where they offset, you know, colors differently and all those things like that. and. And obviously, you know, like making sure that you're even using, you know, it's like everybody goes, oh, well, I know it's calibrated. And I'm like, okay, so that pic that display has 15 picture modes on it. Which one's the one that's calibrated? Can you, you know, and things like that. So I think there's always this assumption that, you know, calibration is just something like when you buy a car and they say, hey, do you want to have the, the special package added to it, you know, and it'll make the car, you know, shinier or whatever. You know, it's just somebody trying to sell something that you don't need. But I never had a client that afterward didn't come back and be like, man, you know, I, I, there was a lot of things I didn't like about the image that that's not a problem anymore. It was too bright. It was too dark. It, the colors looked wrong. You know, the gamma was too dark or whatever else. You know, it's, you know, I'm, I'm not out there peddling it to people on the corner. You know, people come to me because they don't like their image and I fix that. So perfect. Uh, so what do you think about the um, like the internet calibration files like obviously you can just google you know uh, X projector with calibration files it's kind of like uh, something that someone did a while ago and then you plug them into your system like what are your thoughts on that so yeah there's there's always the debate on that I think that that has more relevance if you really wanted to go down that route with flat panels because at the end of the day if I buy a an LG OLED, you know, model this, and you bought the same one, they really shouldn't be that much different because the manufacturing isn't really that much different. I mean, heck, even Dolby Vision is set up on a master file based on the average that came off of that line. So when you're talking about sharing settings for a flat panel, as long as they were derived from somebody that knows what they were doing, it's probably not going to be really far off it you know everyone's going to be slightly different but you probably get in the ballpark but that's also a fixed display where you're not you, you understand you're not you know there's nothing that you know the environments or whatever else where in projection you know let's say you and i have the same projector well we might have a completely different screen you might have a a black diamond from si and i have a studio tech 100 from stewart well mine's a you know, unity gain, no, you know, no color shift where yours is a black screen, you know, that has all kinds of color shift and different gains because of the fact that they're fighting off access stuff. So if you put my settings in to your projector, even though it's the same one, we have vastly different pictures. And then, you know, the size of my screen versus the size of yours, because gamma is based on how bright a projector is. So my gamma curve would be completely different than yours if your projector is brighter or darker than mine. Uh, I mean, you could go on and on and on. The color shift from the, the screen itself, and then the fact that most uh, projectors are built on a bulb and the bulb wear is different over time and by each bulb. So. You know, if, if my settings look good to me and I'm at 400 hours on my projector and you're at 20 hours on yours, it would be completely different how much red, green, and blue output that UHP lamp has. So it, it, it just doesn't work. In a projection sense, the idea of sharing settings over, you know, sharing settings for like your, 
reality creation for your sharpness or something like that probably would work. But when you're talking about, you know, gamma color, you know, color correction, uh, you know, grayscale correction, there's no way that you're going to do it. I mean, you would, you would be a crapshoot even if you had the exact same screen as me in the same kind of room with the same projector. Uh, it, it just doesn't work. And the funny thing is, is that it, it's, it seems kind of uh, fortuitous that we're talking about this. I, I literally have a client that I did a calibration for last month remotely. He bought a RS4500 and he had bought it two years ago. It had something wrong with it and sent it back to JVC. JVC sent the projector to me. I calibrated it and sent it back out to him. He was, he just absolutely loved the image on it. Well, about a week into loving that image, something went wrong with the HDMI board on this projector. So they ended up having to replace the projector completely. And rather than shipping it to me to have it calibrated again, it went out to him. And his understanding was, and again, nobody conferred with me about this, was that I'll just plug in the settings that Chris put into my projector before and it should work fine because most of the work was done in the Lumigen that he had. Well, you know, had they had talked to me, I'd be like, well, actually when I do a JVC projector, I completely redo the factory calibration using JVC's factory calibration software. Then I fine tune it in the projector. Then I fine tune it with the Lumigen. So the projector he got never had even the factory calibration replaced. So he got it, he put the settings in and he's like, this doesn't look anything like what it looked like when I had it before. And that's exactly what my point is, is that you can't just interchange settings from one projector to another. It just, it doesn't work. So to wrap it up, uh, not really a good idea to share calibration settings. <laughs> No, no, with projection, I would never recommend it. With flat panels, it's like, you know, people are gonna do it. And, and again, you know, I, there's a stronger case for it there, but I would still recommend if you really wanna have the best experience possible. It's like, you know, it's, uh, it, it's like anything else out there, you get what you pay for. But if you're gonna try to do a home cinema, like kind of like what you see in the background behind me here, it's like, you know, you're gonna spend money I mean, at the end of the day, home cinema costs money. And if you're going to put in a nice projector and a nice screen and really try to get that home cinema experience, why wouldn't you want it tuned? You know what I mean? Again, it's like you put the investment in. It doesn't really cost that much more to, to, to have it um, where, you, you know, you can really reap the benefits of the display that you bought, the projector that you bought, the sources that are going into it. I mean, calibration isn't just about like, you know, okay, well, I'm going to come in there. I'm going to fiddle with a couple settings in the projector. It's also making sure that all of the source devices that are feeding it are set up properly. I can't tell you how many people I've gone in with, you know, literally million dollar home theaters that I go in and the settings on just the input sources, the players that they're using and stuff are all messed up where they weren't even taking advantage of what they can do. You know, they're, they have a 4K player that's set up to output 1080, you know, or they had some kind of weird mismatch because it goes through an AVR that's doing some kind of conversion. They were doing switching in their AVR and it had its own video processor turned on and was doing all this wonky stuff to it. Or the lip sync is off. Or I mean, there's so many different things that just take you out of that experience that when you have somebody that can do those kind of work, they just make it where, again, you sit back and you enjoy it. Um, the other one that I always say is that, you know, when you talk about home cinema, okay, well, the whole point of home cinema is to try to recreate the movie theater experience, okay? So let's say the three of us decided today to, to, to go uh, after lunch and let's go, let's go watch a movie at the local Cineplex, okay? So we go over and we go to this nice, you know, Dolby theater or an IMAX theater or whatever. Well, I can tell you the first thing that would happen, we sit back, we, we watch the movie and we enjoy it. None of us are sitting there going like, did the projectionist put the right settings in the projector? Did he remember to turn this on? Is he in the right audio mode? Is, uh, is this or that, you know, set up right? Which is what happens in home theater. Like people start thinking about like, oh, oh, I'm seeing something on the screen. I, I think I forgot to change this setting or whatever else. So when you hire a calibrator to come out and do this kind of work, it's essentially trying to recreate the movie theater experience. You've had somebody that is a technical expert, hopefully, come out and calibrate that display so that it is as good as it can get with the sources that you have. That way, when you watch it, 
you don't have to sit there and go like, oh, did I do this? Is this right? Is that right? Is that because of this? It's, it's as good as it can be because it's been set up professionally. So you should just be sitting back and watching it and not worrying about like, oh, maybe it looks like that. It looks like that because the content looks like that. You know, there are limitations of the content and you already know that everything is set up the best that it can be for that content. So the things that you're seeing are the limitations of whatever you're watching, whether it's compression from streaming, whether it's just an authoring error or whatever, but at least you don't have to sit there and worry about like, did I do this? Did I do this? Did I do this? Should I get the remote out? Your wife sitting next to you going like, why are you playing with the menus again? Can we just watch the movie? <laughs> Those are the things that I try to eliminate with professional calibration. It's just, you know, it's done. You just sit back and watch it and enjoy it instead of sitting there thinking about the minutia of some setting or whether or not this is or that is. Well, that's what our clients are looking for. We're getting more and more high-end clientele calling in and we want to offer the best experience to them. Uh, so I'm really excited to have this relationship with you guys um, at Deep Dive and specifically you, Chris. So we'll be uh, sending our clients over. Um, I think that about wraps up the video for common mistakes and pitfalls. Uh, basically, <laughs> do it right once. Give us a call and uh, Chris will make sure this thing is set up professionally and you can just sit back and enjoy the theater with your family. All right, guys, well, that is a wrap. I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it informative and in helping you make a buying decision. If you still don't know what you need, which more than likely you don't, we have over 500 videos on the channel to help you guys out with ideas and things that you could do in your own space. If you need pricing or would like a free system design, feel free to reach out and our guys will be happy to help you guys out. All we ask is that you buy your equipment from us with that nationwide free shipping and low price guarantee. It's a win-win for everybody. I really appreciate y'all's support. We can't do it without you. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.